Hey, it's time at Dish with D. That's me. Thank you for clicking on this video and making yourself a priority. I am Denise. It is Sunday. And Sunday is usually my what's D cooking meal prepish kind of day. But if you remember, if you're a follower here, I've had COVID this week. Doing much better. Thank you so much for all your messages, wishes, emails. It meant the world to me that you guys who we've never met were concerned and I, I deeply humbled and grateful to have you here. But I didn't, I wanted to put up a little bit of something, a little bit of something, because I get requested um, for rest, certain recipes, a lot. So I thought a lot of you are new here. This channel has exploded in the last six months. So I wanted to do like a recap of the my most requested videos or recipes. And what I'm going to try to do, wish me luck, is have everyone linked below the video and the written recipe next to it or under it might be like video recipe video recipe this way you can go want to go watch the video want to go right to the written recipe because i do have two sites for my recipes i do apologize the written recipes i had an older blog called www.dishwithd.org i outgrew it but <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff on there and i'm a one-man operation here for me to transfer everything over is daunting and honestly it, it costs me 12 bucks a year to keep it up so i feel like for 12 bucks that saves me all that work i know i'll say it i'm lazy and then also the newer one is www.dishwithd.com they're both the same ending in org and com honestly i feel it's easy but i know a lot of you find it confusing and they birth but the biz they both have search engines the older one the dot org is at the bottom and the newer one the dot com is at the top you would just put in like mug cakes or pumpkin and everything would come up but i will do that for you so this video probably will go up later than i expect because that's a lot of work because i have all, i took a bit there's about 25 here and that's off the top of my head there's a no particular order it's just what came to my head of what gets mostly asked. Oh, D, D's this, D's that. Oh my God, did I have it? So these are the ones that I, off the top of my head, get asked for a lot. So if you are new here, welcome. And if you just clicked on this video and haven't yet hit that subscribe button, listen to these recipes. And if that is something that you need in your life, hit that subscribe button and join us here at Dish with D. I am making fun food lighten points. So let's get started. Ranch dressing. Yep, I could ask for ranch dressing a lot. So I have several variations of ranch dressing. I know. I have some where you can use the packet. I have some where you can make your own seasoning. But I believe, off the top of my head, both are made with homemade buttermilk. I used to buy um, low-fat buttermilk in the store, but they had the, there was a really big um, container. They didn't have like a little one. They always had the big one. And I always felt like I wasted it. And, I, you know, I just didn't go through it a lot. And then I Googled how to make your own buttermilk. It was easy. It's 1% milk and white vinegar. I always have 1% milk. That's what the boys and Steve drink. I always have white vinegar. So now I make my own buttermilk. Easy, 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 delicious. And if your dressing isn't thick enough, sometimes it depends on my mood. Sometimes I want it thinner. I want it thicker. It all depends. I add a little bit, a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. Hungry Girl rec recommended using that and it's fantastic. So it's, it's an option. If you want a little bit thicker, put a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum, which you get in the baking section of your store and your dressings will be thick as you like. That is one. Hummus. Plain old hummus. I took the tahini out of my hummus and added non-fat Greek yogurt, which made it a zero point hummus fantastic you don't suffer for taste it is absolutely delicious it is zero points i could ask for that one a lot so that is my favorite probably one of my favorite things is the hummus because it again you could it's a zero point dip for vegetables and it's really really good you can change it up you could add garlic and lemon which is the original recipe you could add red roasted red peppers you could add beets you could add anything i've done avocado i've done spinach like a pesto hummus it's a base you could build on. So again, one of the major ones. Dessert hummuses. There's a lot. I might just link the playlist to the dessert hummuses. And they're all on dishwithd.org. 90% of them because they're all older recipes. So we, oh my God, the brownie batter is probably my favorite. They're all good. But the butterscotch blondie, the brownie batter, the carrot cake, the cookie dough, the salted caramel, the pumpkin, 
They're all good and they're all simple and they're all super duper low in points. You require chickpeas, sugar-free pudding mix, some cashew milk, some monk fruit. Simple, simple, but really packs a punch and people will never know that they're Weight Watcherified. They're, I bring them to parties, people scarf it down. And it's so much more affordable to make your own versus buying it. And you can get so much more for the points. I think it's two tablespoons for a point. The commercial one, I can get a whole like quarter cup. I think it might still even be zero. <clears throat> banana bread. Oh yeah, the, what I call the miracle loaf. It is just a mashed banana, quarter cup of oats, and an egg, baking powder, salt, cinnamon, vanilla extract. Sometimes I add yogurt, sometimes I don't. Very versatile. It is two points. You just have to count the oats. It is such a great little loaf. It is fantastic. I do find quick oats work better than rolled old fashioned. It gives it more of a bread and less of an oat taste. So if you're like, oh, I don't really like the oats or two, try quick oats in your baking. I, I have both because sometimes I like quick oats. Sometimes I like rolled old fashioned oats. Sometimes I mix them. It's, it's just fantastic. And you can change the extracts, you can change the spices and change your bread completely. That was one I found early on in the beginning of my journey. I think it was Fit and Fabulous Mama, I wanna say. And it's just been a favorite. Cream of wheat bread. Oh my gosh, cream of wheat. It is fantastic. What a great little breakfast loaf. Again, another one you could have base and you could change it to chocolate, to pumpkin. It's a fantastic breakfast loaf. It is four points. And my goodness, it is so filling. Most times I can't finish it. It's that good. I have a whole week of donuts. And somebody calls them D-nuts. But yes, donuts made with, you could use Kodiak, you could use flour, you could use whatever you want. And you make donuts. And what I love about this recipes in this series is it only makes six. You know what? Six isn't tragic. You know, because I don't know about you, but sometimes I can go for more than one unfortunately. So if I had a dozen there, it'd be tr traumatic. But yeah, you can make one, six donuts. And I, the ones that I have on my, on the thing are one point each. So if you ate all six, it'd be six or seven points. That's not damaging. So a lot of donuts, a whole, a whole weekly series, and they're all different. Double chocolate peanut butter, honest cardamom. No, cardamom, cardamom was separate than it was honest. I mean, I'm not a huge, honest, anise, however you say anise. Whatever you say, I'm Italian, we always say honest. Um, if you use too much of that, it gets overpowering, but if you cut back a little bit, it is absolutely delicious. So I always recommend that. The party cake loaves, the party cake loaves. Oh my gosh, they have exploded from just a party cake loaf to a chocolate, to a banana, to a cannoli. There's so many party cake loaves. It's a little loaf of cake. It is cake, but it is one cake that you could eat, eat the whole little loaf and it's not gonna damage your point bank. And you could different variations and it's so good. And the last time, if I remember correctly, each birthday I always make myself a new cake. Um, I stuffed it one year with ice cream. Nick's ice cream, two points of Nick's ice cream. It was a ice cream party cake loaf. Simple, simple, simple. Whoopie pies. Oh, the whoopie pies. Somebody requested me making whoopie pies and I just went crazy with it. Because once you get the base of something, you can tweak it and just change things and totally different. There are several whoopie pies and you all, you know, you all appreciate the whoopie pies and they're so good. And they're absolutely, you know, <clears throat> quite shareable because they're just a nice big filling dessert and they're only four or five points. Truly, you absolutely can fit a whoopie pie in. Mini pancake muffins. Oh my gosh, another thing that exploded were mini pancake muffins. It's just taking pancake mix and, and putting it in little mini muffins. When you change the shape of something, it seems different and fun and dippable. We love to, like, we're still kids. We love to dip. You could dip them in anything. You could dip them in syrup. You could dip them in make your own icing. You could dip them in anything. And they're fantastic. And again, a base pancake muffin could go different. I have a million different variations. I've got chai. I've got pumpkin. I've got candied bacon. I've got sausage. Um, uh, matcha. You take one thing and you just, it's just a batter and you just tweak it and then you put it in the mini muffins. And I do recommend the silicone liners. And I've said it time and time again, those suckers pop right out and every bit of that goes into your belly and not on that liner. I'm not peeling muffins out of my thing. I'm not losing it to that paper. I'm paying four or five points. 
or th actually the base recipe is three points. I want it all. So yes, there's a million pancake muffins. The dump mugs. The dump mugs. I had made a Weight Watchers dump pumpkin dump cake. And I thought to myself, can we make a dump mug? Because quite honestly, if you're like me, having a whole pan of food. Hi, I'm Denise. I have a problem with food. I have a problem. I have a problem. It sits there and calls my name. And I can't. I have zero willpower. And I've been on this journey for a long time. And I still have zero willpower. So it's easier for me not to have it. I'd rather make four different dump mug cakes for everybody than sit there and make a whole pan of it because I'll just, I'm going to go back. I'm not that strong yet. So if you're not that strong yet, don't worry about it. It'll come. If I, we'll get there together. But there's different ones. There's the pumpkin. There's the chocolate. It'll top my head. They are so good. So yeah. I don't know how many I'm going to mint list because there's so many in, in each individual category that I'm just going to list the base ones because like I said, I have gone... 18 different directions with almost all of these cheesecakes in a mug because who doesn't want a single serve cheesecake oh yeah so good and i'm even though the pound dropper cheesecakes are fantastic and they are but it, and they're still i mean you can eat the whole cheesecake and it's not be detrimental but do we really want to because eating the whole thing yes it's it could fit in your points but it does have a lot of calories and should we, we be eating a whole cheesecake but if it's not there, we can't eat it. So the cheesecakes in a mug, there's a few different ones of those too. Protein cookies. Oh my gosh, the protein cookies. How that came about was I had all this old Birch Benders, Kodiak mix. You know, I have a problem with variety. I like to have varieties of different flavor mixes. I just like to, to me, it changes it up. But it takes up space in my cabinet. So I was trying to clear out some pancake mixes. So I thought, I didn't, and ones I really didn't care for as pancakes, I think it was a few of the birch benders that didn't care for the flavor. And one was a banana. I believe it was banana. I just didn't like it. So I thought, well, let's make cookies with it and get rid of it. So I did. <laughs> Fun fact is I absolutely love the chocolate banana protein cookies. And I went up buying the mix again just to make those cookies. How funny is that? That was hilarious. And the boys love them. I keep them in the fridge because you just don't know with a lot of these things how it's going to be out, you know, the preserves. So I keep a lot of the things that I make in the fridge. But the protein cookies were really, really good. And I, again, it was just trying to get rid of mixes. That's how a lot of these things start. I'm just trying to get rid of stuff. And I don't like to throw things in the trash. What can I make with it? And I've made mistakes on recipes. And how do I fix it and not throw it away? Because there's always a way to fix it. You just have to figure it out. And that's like almost like a puzzle for me. It's a challenge. Can I do it? And yeah, I have to say the protein cookies are the bomb. Oat bakes. Now I got a lot of them from TikTok. The TikTok oat bakes. Oh my gosh. When I first made them because the batter is just so liquidy, you think that's never going to bake. And they do. So absolutely. You want to, if you, I know TikTok is one more thing we don't need to go on, but the food ideas that I've gotten from there is absolutely phenomenal. So you absolutely just go on there. I've gotten so many interesting, fun things, and Oat Bakes was one of them. French Toast Bakes. Oh my gosh, making French toast in a bake for one is fantastic. I have several. I was going, I was on a roll one week. I was just making a different one every week. There's about 10 of them, I think. It just, it's only, I believe, two points off the top of my head because I only have to count the light bread. And now, you know I like my regular bread. I don't eat the light bread as a piece of toast anymore. But in a French toast bake, in French toast, those breads are fantastic. They're light and they're fluffy and they're perfect vehicle for a French toast bake. Several on the channel. All phenomenal. All absolutely. Could you prep them ahead? I guess you could. I don't, I'm, I work from home. I don't really need to prep, but I got, excuse me, if you do, I think that it would work fantastic. I call it a Christmas crack. Oh my gosh. I just call, I just call it crack. Remember the crack that we used to make for Christmas? It was the crackers and it had the melted chocolate and the butter and the melted butter and brown sugar and you poured it over and then you pour chocolate. Well, this is sort of like that, but instead of crackers, I used a lavash bread and I use lilies and stuff like that. I don't even remember what's in it, but it's fantastic. And it's super duper low in points. We're going to have to do a regular, just call it crack. Because I think in the old website, it's called Christmas crack. And it is absolutely, what a decadent, fun, low point, 
delicious, like, sweet treat. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the Big Mac meatloaf. A riff on Pound Dropper. I, no, is it Pound Dropper? Or is it, who does a Big Mac salad? I don't remember. Whoever does a Big Mac salad, I thought, what about a Big Mac meatloaf? We like meatloaf here, and, and we always, I always look for different ways to change it up. And you can make the Big Mac meatloaf with turkey, chicken, beef, whatever. You, I've made it with everything. It's always good. It's always delicious. And it's a, definitely your family will love it. Frozen hot chocolate. Oh, my gosh. Frozen hot chocolate. And hot cocoa. Again, a, I think it's one point. I just have to count the milk. I like to make mine with cashew or almond milk. And um, I'm a big, huge fan, if you don't know that here, of the black cocoa powder. That is the only cocoa powder I use. I do not, I used to use a special dark. I like dark chocolate. And I like the special dark. But when I discovered black cocoa powder at an Amish bulk store one day, I thought, oh, let's try that. It, sounds, it looks like Oreo chocolate, when like the cookie Oreo. But it's dark chocolate, but it doesn't have that like bitter note that the dark chocolate has. It's just delicious. Amazon has it. It's a little bit pricey there. Um, like I said, if you're near an Amish place, I would check their bulk section. It's it's so cheap. I mean, you get a bag for like four bucks. I mean, I will link. I thought I remember to link the one on Amazon. It's it's definitely everybody I've told about has always loved it. It's just it's a game changer in anything chocolate. But the frozen and the hot cocoa are absolutely phenomenal. I mean, you can buy the packets, you can, but when you have this stuff here, you always have milk, you always have the black cocoa powder, so you can always make hot chocolate or frozen hot chocolate anytime you want. Okay. Braces oat bread. I found that at my meeting, I believe. Somebody mentioned Braces oat bread. It's just oats and egg and yogurt. And I, every time I make it, I say the same thing. It looks like vomit. It does. It looks like, because it's regular oats. It's not the quick oats. I guess you could use the quick oats. People have said they've done it. I've done it in plain graces. I've had pumpkin graces. I've had savory graces. It's, 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 it's phenomenal. You look at it, you're like, this is not going to come together. This is not. And oh my gosh, what a nice piece of bread. Now, when we were on purple, it was a zero point bread. It was crazy. And you think that it's I mean, in the video you hear me tap on it it's like a it's a great little loaf of bread and it doesn't rise real high so it's more of it's not very high but it's really good and when you it has to be in my opinion it has to be toasted but what a vehicle for peanut butter what a vehicle for avocado so if you're a person that like you're a big oat person and a yogurt person you definitely should have that bread in your repertoire it's absolutely fantastic my smoothies made with I don't have any here, do I? Water enhancers. I was on a roll calling it Smoothie Sunday. I think I went through all the smoothie, the water enhancers in the Dollar Tree. I made a smoothie out of each one of them. It was like, you get the, again, you get one idea and you could sit there and take it to 18 different flavors. And there's a million of them. So I'm going to link the smoothie playlist because it's very basic. It's, I think most times I, sometimes I probably use milk. Sometimes I probably use water depending on the flavor. The flavor packet, sweetener, and sometimes I would put yogurt in there. They were absolutely, or a banana. They were really good. And it was something different. I feel like we're always looking for that low point drink, you know, and that really fits the bill. It looks so much better like more points than it actually is. It looks creamy and frothy and you're like, oh my, you know, and you feel like you're just eating regular stuff. You know, you're not on this special diet and weight loss program, healthy living lifestyle. You know, there's things that you can have that make you feel like you're just living, you know, and that is one of them. I have no idea what I wrote here. No idea. So we're going to have to skip that one. Oh, maybe it's the cracked out chicken. I don't know. It's a, it's just crack. Maybe it's the Christmas crack. I think I wrote that twice. It must be the Christmas crap. C crack. Not the Christmas crap. But yeah, they are probably, they're the ones that I came up with. They're the ones that I get asked for all the time. D, could I have your ranch? Ranch dressing is probably the number one. I get asked for that all the time. Then it's like the banana bread. Then it's the cream of wheat loaf. But what I love is I have these base ones, but you could, it sparks. 
like a whole different thing. You just need one base recipe. And I'm a big person, big, I'm a big person. I'm a person who loves extracts, spices, skinny syrups, because that is one thing you could change one recipe and change it. And it's just minimally changed with just a spice and an extract or syrup taste. So it's definitely when people ask, why do you have like 30, no, I don't have 30, I probably have like 20. Why do you have 20 different skinny syrups? Because I don't know which I'm going to need. And it, it's just like, once you get the in the zone of them, then you get like, the, oh, I get you now, day. I totally understand now. So I'm not telling you to buy 20 skinny syrups. I'm not, but definitely you need to have a couple. <laughs> it's always good. But I think... That is probably my top, top ones. It's got well, almost 20 of them there. They're the top ones that I get asked for all the time. And I would say <clears throat> almost all of them are original recipes. Yeah, I would say 90% of them are original recipes. Yeah, I think they all are. I do original recipes here. I like to play around with food. So if you stay to the end of that, and you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish with D for food and fun like that. So I will hopefully have everything linked below. It's going to take me a while. So you all, thank you for watching. I wanted to give you a video today and this is always requested. So I thought, why not? It's easy. I can do this. It's going to take me just, you know, an hour or two and I have to link everything. But that's the banana. Eagles are playing. I'll be able to do that during the game. So go Eagles. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, let me know with a thumbs up. Comment below which one of those is your favorite recipe. Or maybe if there's more than one, then say, hey, I like this, this, this. I would love to know what you guys. And if I missed one, because I might have COVID brain, let me know down in the comments. With it. Oh, I think you should have mentioned this. This is my favorite because, you know, so I will just with you. I am taking tomorrow off. So I will probably see you Tuesday for what I eat in a day. And there's some tastings in there. Um, and there's a couple unboxings in there. So yeah, I will see you Tuesday. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your support. I will dish with you later.